Can God bless America again? What is our nation's biggest problem? Today's quote will point us back to the truth of God's Word and help us as we evaluate these questions and pray for God's blessing. It is the duty of all nations to acknowledge the providence of Almighty God, to obey His will, to be grateful for His benefits, and humbly to implore His protection and favor. Hi friends, I'm Pastor Josh, and I'm passionate about helping you grow on your journey to be more like Christ. Each week I share multiple quotes with you that God has used in my own life that point us back to the truth of God's Word and help us develop the mind of Christ. One of the biggest problems we have in America is our view of God. When you look at the culture around us, whether it's in light of the coronavirus and the current situation in our own country, whether it's because of the fears of something else, or other natural disasters. We have big floods and tornadoes and so many other things that can cause problems, whether it's economic, health, many other problems in our nation. But our biggest problem is our view of God. People around us don't see God for who He is. They don't look at the Word of God and look at their own lives and mesh the two together. There's either a dichotomy or even an outright rejection of God's Word. This is a lesson that George Washington learned. George Washington was born to Augustine and Mary Washington. We don't know a lot about how his parents raised him in the fear of God, but we do know a lot of the statements that he made as an, as an adult. We also know some of the testimony from his own children about their grandmother. Mary would often spend time on Sundays teaching her own grandchildren the Word of God and how God Almighty was involved not just in history but in their own lives in the current situations. George Washington used the Bible in his own life and we know that he was a leader who applied the Word of God to his life. Whether it was in battle time where he would kneel and pray or when he would acknowledge God's providence and protection or whether it was as a leader of our nation, as the first president. There were multiple times that George Washington would turn back to God. On his proclamation for Thanksgiving in 1789, he acknowledges that God's protection was real in the recent battle, in the recent war, as some of the language of the proclamation says. But it's not just kind of a passing reference to God. This very proclamation starts out with our quote from today. And it's looking at this truth that we as a nation need God. George Washington as a leader acknowledged that. But today, friend, our leaders need to acknowledge that too. But more than just our leaders, you and I as people must acknowledge God as our ultimate leader. And we must take his word and apply it to our lives. This was something that God was teaching King Solomon even when Solomon was beginning his reign as king of Israel. 2 Chronicles chapter 7, verses 12 through 16. And the Lord appeared to Solomon by night and said unto him, I have heard thy prayer and have chosen this place to myself for an house of sacrifice. If I shut up heaven that there be no rain, or if I command the locusts to devour the land, or if I send pestilence among my people. If my people which are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and will heal their land. Now mine eyes shall be open and mine ears attend unto the prayer that is made in this place. For now have I chosen and sanctified this house that my name may be there forever and mine eyes and mine heart shall be there perpetually. As Solomon was beginning his reign, he prayed to God. He didn't know exactly how God was going to work, but he began praying to God. And he asked God for wisdom. We know that there are a number of things that God did, but here as we're looking at what he was praying, we're looking at what God did. Friend, if we want God's blessing on America, it's not just as we trust our military might. I praise God for our military. I praise the Lord for those who willingly gave their lives for our freedoms. We celebrate that this weekend as we looked at Memorial Day weekend and specifically Memorial Day on Monday. The reality is 
as much as we have military might, our protection comes from God. As much as we think we have wisdom, our wisdom must come from God. When we have pestilence or problems, we can't just look in within for the answers, but we must look up to our Savior. Have you prayed to God? Pray to God. But it's not just as we pray to God in times of trouble, it's praying to God in times of ease, and then we must turn back to God. Friend, as a believer in Jesus Christ, it is your and my personal responsibility to make sure we are right with God. Turn back to God. God said to Solomon that if his people would pray, if God's people would pray, humbling themselves, turn from their wicked ways. Friend, I don't know what it is in your life that God wants you to turn from. What sin in your life do you need to turn from? As George Washington was saying earlier as we looked at his quote, that the nation must acknowledge God and his providence. Friend, you and I need to acknowledge God in our lives and turn from whatever sin and wicked ways that we have in our lives. And then we can watch God work. See, God told Solomon, if people would humble themselves and pray, they would seek his face, they would turn from their wicked ways, then he would bless. He would bring down a blessing. And that's what Solomon was then going to watch God do. God answered prayers and God wanted his name to be acknowledged. Verse number 15 says, Now mine eyes shall be open and mine ears attend unto the prayer that is made in this place. Friend, God wants to bless America. God wants to bless our nation as we as believers turn back to God and as we make a difference in our culture for him. So during this time of coronavirus, during the time of other natural disasters going on around us, it's not just looking within for wisdom, it's looking up and praying for God's protection and turning our hearts back to our Savior. Father, we thank you for your love. Lord, I thank you for this opportunity we've had to look at your word. God, would you help each of us to see you for who you are and allow you to make a difference in our lives today turning from whatever wicked way in our own hearts and our lives and acknowledging you for who you are. And it's in Jesus' name we pray, amen. It is the duty of all nations to acknowledge the providence of Almighty God, to obey His will, to be grateful for His benefits, and humbly to implore His protection and favor. Friend, let's give God thanks for America. Let's give God praise for the blessings he's given to us. And yet let's ask him to work on our behalf right now in our culture. As we praise God for those who gave their lives for our freedoms, we must praise God for all that he has done and those around us that he uses. If you're interested in another quote that deals with God's wisdom and how we can have it for life, would you click the playlist right here? Otherwise, let's continue on our journey developing the mind of Christ and praying for God to bless America as he changes you and me. Thanks for joining me today. I look forward to seeing you next time.